Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Yes! It's time to cut the tape. Welcome. This episode's going up a little later than usual because I've been waiting for this. Everyone's gotten this already. Now it's my turn to finally get it. I finally hit ship on my pile of loot from Big Bad Toy Store. And here it is. So, knife, box, cut. So, it's a big box. You probably know what's inside of it. But there's also a bunch of other stuff inside of it. Stuff that doesn't have to do with what we're doing tonight. Stuff like an invoice. I'm not going to pay that. Stuff like a card. Just to remind me of where I just bought this stuff from. You know, the girls like this. I give this to the girls. They draw on it, put it in their Barbie house. <clears throat> but here he is. Scorponok. Transformers, War for Cybertron, Bumblebee, Cyberverse Adventures, Animated, Regeneration 1, Titan Scorponok. And just to see what else is in the box. We're not going to mess with this stuff. Well, it's just, you know, I forget what's in here sometimes. G2, handheld video game. Hmm. I really like it. It's got the old Tiger logo on it. Uh, oh, I needed an extra one of these for a thing I'm doing. Uh, Electron. So I got that. Megatron IEW Decepticon version model kit. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Optimus Prime G1 version model kit. Cool, cool, cool. World's Smallest Transformers. Cool, cool, cool. Starscream, Bumblebee, Optimus, Skylynx, uh, Rover Storm, uh, Exhaust, and uh, for you, Motu fans out there, Masters of the Universe, not Kaiju. I got the Mega Constructs Battle Cat vs. Roton. And for those wondering, Battle Cat in Spanish, it said Tigre de Combate. And in Italian, it's Tigre de Combate. Oh, yeah. Alright. Push that over here. Back. Down it goes. All right. Scorponok. I've been waiting to open this guy, but here he is. I saw him once at a Target out in the, in the wild. I had already ordered this. I usually just go straight to Big Bad and order it. Taking a look at the box. Pretty simple. Robot mode, Scorponok mode, base mode. Perfect for your MicroMasters. Here he is. Gosh, he's missing the gun though, right? Oh, and look, there's there's the arc again. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, he's got double dealer on the box, Optimus. Looks like Bumblebee. Uh, is that Blur? I don't know. Somebody said there's a Galvatron on the box. I've seen the image of it. Maybe it's not this box. Maybe it's the uh, Double Dealer box. 
Yeah. I think it's a double dealer box. Anyway. Like, that's just a weird thing to put there, you know? It's like... It's like a horn of Scorponox head. It's just a weird thing to put there. <clears throat> All right. Let's cut this SOB open. Now, first thing I notice, gosh, there's no bio on this. Here's a big giant transformer I'm gonna buy as a present for my little grandson or granddaughter, Billy. What do I know about this toy? Its name is Scorponok. Look on the back of the box. Is it this little dude that rides inside this giant scorpion? Why is this a hundred and some dollars? There's no bio. It doesn't tell me anything about the character. And that... That always irks me. Put a bio of the thing that you're spending all the money on on the box. Come on. Come on, people. Please. <clears throat> All right. Easy peasy. What does he come with? He comes with his giant instructions, which don't have a bio on it. He comes with a little decoder so you can decode Cybertronian. So you can look here at the text back and see how strong or smart or heady or mastery he is. So big instructions. Uh, this is probably a copyright warning. I don't know. And he comes with a piece of map. All right. Here he is. Here's the back. Bunch of the uh, biodegradable type twist ties. You know, I remember getting Armada Unicron. And I think I spent... Almost an hour sitting there trying to untwist every little thing so I can get that toy out. And that was like half the size of this. With this guy, it's just cut, 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 cut. 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 So there's two on the arms. Uh, I'll say, all right, so one on the hand, one on the shoulder, there's one around the waist. All right, how am I going to get my knife in here? There we go. And then one around the legs. And I think that is it. Scorponok is free! He's free from his cardboard prison. But wait! There's more. Tail is free! I assume tail goes on the back. We'll explore how that goes in a little bit. But there's more! So they've packaged something inside the buffer piece of cardboard, which is a great use of space. So for that, I commend them. A little Scorponok shield. Cut, cut. Great use of this buffer cardboard so that the figure isn't damaged. Placing that piece inside. And then up here uh, are the cannons this could be easily missed by a parent or a kid opening this for a birthday or a holiday. But wait, there's more. 
we got some effects. We've got our little decoder on there. And finally, we've got the AllSpark. Man, look at that. <laughs> I gotta say, that's that's pretty big. That's pretty big. <clears throat> Happy with the size. First impressions. Scorpion face is okay. There we go. Let's transform Lord Zarek. Oh, a piece popped off. That's not good. I'm not sure. Are these five millimeter peg holes in here? Yeah, I guess they are. Little size comparison for you. I know the camera's a little bit far away, but comes to around uh, just below the knee, if you include these horns. Maybe the shin, top of the shin. Boy, that helped sculpt is really nice. Really, really nice. They painted a visor on the little headmaster. Not bad, not bad. There will probably be uh, an awesome repo label set with this at some point. Or for this, rather, I should say. Not bad. Let's see. Easy to transform. Yeah. Now, the plastic... Plastic feels a little on the light side, like a little on the cheap side. So now I'm instantly worried if a parent or a kid were to drop this, it would shatter. Hmm. All right, so what is cool about the Scorponok head <clears throat> is you got this visor here, right? Well, you can take this visor off. It's a simple screw. You can take the visor off. Does it come off by itself? No, and then underneath you'll have the eyes. So for those hardcore guys who want a specific look, you know, you know what to do. Get your screwdrivers. Oh, I know what's missing. Besides a giant gun for him. Chrome. Yep. But you know what? This is a new interpretation of it. It doesn't have to be exactly a remake of G1. This is, uh, for the modern age, this is the modern age Scorponok. So it's, it's a new interpretation. Let's be grateful that we got this. And I'm very grateful we got this. Ah, oh, yes. I like the tightness. I like the... T oh, look at these big, big hands. Yeah. I like that. Cool. These guns connect via 5mm ports, so any character can use them. I bet you they would look killer on Power Master Optimus Prime. Just a thought. Just a thought. Uh, I'll definitely have to try them like that. All right. Let's see. How are we connecting these? Easy enough. Not easy enough. There we go. 
weird. There's a little bit of dust on them. So maybe these parts sat around for a while and then they got put together. Yeah, it's actually a little, little dusty on the back. Odd. But you know, with the state of the world, it's possible that some of these parts just sat in a bin for a little bit before someone was able to uh, put them together. Entirely possible, entirely possible. Like I so want to just like open this, you know, and, and check the, the tech spec meter. Scorper dock. Uh, I like the size. Size is good. I want to know if these feet come out. They do. Because the feet are throwing me off, man. There we go. That's what was missing. It really needs that gun. Now there's a few people out there who have done 3D printing and have printed their own guns. And I talked to a buddy of mine named Trent and I said, hey Trent, some, some guys are printing guns. You can print a better one. So I hope he's on it. I think we need some back guns. And what's cool is here on the back, there's a five millimeter port for you to attach another set of these, right? Take this. Love it. Absolutely love it. And Zarek probably needs a little blaster of his own. Let's see what special effects we got. For special blast effects. Little decoder. It's going to save the world one day. Oh no, somebody's firing at my hand. <sighs> I'm gonna fire at them with my shoulder cannon. I'm gonna fire that way with my shoulder cannon. And what's great about these is there's so many different ways you can configure them. These are a lot of fun. You know, I wasn't too crazy about it when uh, over 10 years ago they started doing stuff like this with Star Wars. With the lightsaber effects of the saber coming out of the hilt. But now that we have it in Transformers, I'm genuinely excited about this stuff. It's give and take for display. So I think Masterpiece has finally put me over the edge and said, all right, let's. Some just don't have them because they didn't come with them, others do. Some guys are just going to be shooting their guns in the case. Say la vie. All right. Well, that was fun. Thank you for joining Cut the Tape. We talked about Scorpionok. He's got a hefty weight to him. He's got a shield. He needs his gun. Nice. Hey, welcome to the basement. Welcome to the library, to the vault. If you want to email us, email us at tf at cut the tape at tftalk.net. Check out the whole TFYLP network. And remember, keep your hands clean and always wear a mask. And voting's coming up. I'm not telling you who to vote for, I'm just telling you to vote. See you next time. Ow! 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 <laughs>